What's going on, everybody? It is John again with Grace, Liberty, and the finished work of Jesus Christ here for another drive-by devotional. All right. So, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, we are going to talk, yes, of course, about the Bible and Jesus. But we're going to talk about the fact that there are, there is, there were, and always will be proof that the Bible is true. On my Facebook page, um, John Barrett, that's me, um, I do teachings every Saturday. I'm going through a series now on that exact same subject. They're not long, they're kind of summaries, but let's talk a little bit about this. There's plenty of evidence out there for that. There are plenty of people who believe in the Bible who are scientists and historians and mathematicians and just very smart people, people smarter than you and me. Um, today, I talked about um, Gregor Mendel. Gregor Mendel is a monk who happens to also be the father of genetics, who was very much a believer in the Bible. Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday discovered things like chlorine, electromagnetism. He was a famous chemist. Also believed in the Bible. Isaac Newton, the guy that discovered or came up with the, the idea of gravity. Also a believer in the Bible. And there's a massive list of people who believe in the Bible. So, and some of these people, or most of them, are people where science got its start and foundation. In other words, the people who say that science and the Bible contradict each other or do not agree are studying science that is based on people who believe in the Bible. So don't ever, ever think that when somebody says, oh, how stupid are you or uneducated are you or fooled are you to believe in a book full of fairy tales, that that's true. It's not. Absolutely not. There are tons of evidences, uh, especially archaeological evidences, showing that the Bible is true. Lots of places and people in the Bible uh, corroborated with actual archaeological sites. The most recent one I was reading and studying about is Jericho, you know, where Joshua went in and the walls fell down. Well, there's an actual site called Jericho that actually had giant walls that actually fell down. Ur. Ur is an, is an archaeological site. You know, Ur is the place where Abraham was born. Um, there are tombs in Egypt that have hieroglyphics clearly depicting the whole scene where uh, Joseph was in Egypt, his brothers came to him in Egypt, and that, that, that whole situation. There are tombs with hieroglyphs that show this stuff, okay? Um, chariot wheels found at the bottom of the Red Sea. There's all sorts of things. There are people even now, PhDs and doctorates in science, um, heavy-duty smart scientists who believe the Bible to be true. So, right? So this isn't meant to be anything except an encouragement, number one, so that you don't ever have to feel stupid for believing in the Bible. 
even some of the stuff in the Old Testament that sounds crazy. No, it's only crazy because the people that are telling you it's crazy think so. And the second thing is to equip you. I'm not much on arguing. I used to debate a lot when I was younger, but I realized that that is kind of not effective. However, there are times when that just needs to happen. Sometimes you just got to throw down and say, okay, enough. You know, sometimes people genuinely want to know. So, all that being said, thanks for driving along, hanging out, and I hope that you drive along with us again. See you later, my friend.